guys, welcome back. Uh, so I want to talk to you guys about something a little bit more serious. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I want you guys to be aware of what's going on with these scams. Now there are all types of different types of scams, but the one that I am talking about is a check scam. Now, I have already been sent several checks this year alone, and every single one of them are bogus. And every single one of them had the same type of, like, anomalies with it. And I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about it and show you exactly what I mean so you guys can be more prepared so in case something like this comes along so let's let's show you what I'm talking about so these people that are running this scam uh, I think from what I know about it and the research that I've done I believe that these people are somewhere in Texas or maybe Nevada somewhere in that side of the country is what I'm thinking but I have been hit from these checks through Craigslist, through Facebook, and a couple other um, like like uh, vlog style, you know, pages, kind of like Craigslist, something along them lines. And I've sold thousands of items. I mean, I don't have a job, so my job is to buy and sell, you know, things, and I buy and sell everything. And I had an item on Craigslist for sale and I had a guy saying that you know he wanted to send me a check and you know if whatever then like I get the check I deposited it or he wanted me to cash it and then like a carrier was going to come and meet me to pick up the item I mean just all kinds of little shit like that I've also had them where they told me to deposit the check and then wait a few days and pull the money out or I've had it where uh, the agreed price was for five hundred dollars and they sent me a check for two thousand dollars and what they want you to do is, is go down to the bank deposit or cash that check and then send them back the difference so if they only owed you five hundred and they sent you a check for two thousand dollars they want you to send them fifteen hundred dollars well guess what when you do that and the check bounces or it doesn't clear now you're responsible for the money that the bank is being held accountable for so anyway this particular scam that I want to talk about I it happened on Facebook it was an ad for uh, decal advertising saying that you know we've worked with monster and we've worked with um, Red Bull and a couple other big uh, companies and basically what we do is we pay you uh, $500 a month to put a decal or a logo of a certain brand on your car for a 30-day period so I agreed to it and they you know and this was a little bit more set up more legit like whoever set this up took a little bit more time but me being who I am immediately picked up on the red flags so anyway let me get back to my story so the guy tells me that it can only be for three months that is the max one month to three months how many months are you willing to have a logo on your car and I said three months so that entitles me to a fifteen hundred dollar paycheck now the guy did say that I was going to have to take fifty Okay, nothing, not 500, not 5,000, 50 bucks out of the 1,500 and use that to pay the man that's going to come and install the decals on my vehicle. So, I got the check and that's where the fun starts. Okay, so most of the time almost well, actually let me repeat that every time I got one of these fake checks it was sent to me by priority mail 
That right there is my first red flag, is that this person sent it to me, priority mail. All right, now for the next. What you do is you go right here and you look at who sent it to you. Well, mine says Design Company Fabrics, and they're in 2253, uh, you know, East 500 Block, and they're in Salt Lake City, Utah. Okay, Salt Lake City, Utah is the company uh, Design Fabrics that is doing, you know, this this deal with me. Well, this is the check. The check looks real good. It has all the proper markings. It even has the watermarks on it. I can see uh, it's it feels right. It's definitely been machine cut, not hand cut. So the check is the check appears good, but this routing number and the checking number on the check don't add up. Also, this check says Sterling Commercial Roof incorporated so that was my other red flag why the hell would a design fabric company out of Salt Lake City Utah send me a check with another company's name on it that is also from a different state this check in this company is out of Illinois and the people or the company that sent me the check is out of Salt Lake City Utah so you would think that the design company fabrics would be on the check, but it's not. Now this is a check for $1,500. As you can see, it's $1,500 and it has my name on it and it looks real good and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it down to my bank and I'm going to tell them the little story and I'm going to have them look into it and see what they say. The police department, you know, they would just file a report on it and that would be the end of it. But I'm thinking that if I give it to a bank, it may go a little further. Now, this is also where the story gets interesting too. Check this out, guys. This is a check that was sent to me um, at the beginning of the year. And this check is for $2,100 dollars. And it says Intoximeters Incorporated. And then right here it says UMB Bank. Now, I called this bank, UMB Bank, and gave them the, the account number for this company. And they told me that this company, Intoximeters Incorporated, does not have a banking account with them. So I called Intoximeters and gave them this check number and asked them if they knew that they were giving me a check for $2,100. And they said they did not. Guys, this is fraud. This is federal shit. You're talking about the Secret Service, the FBI, the Marshals, 25 years minimum in prison for doing this kind of shit. So if somebody sends you a check, for one, the amount is way greater than what you agreed to. If y'all agree to a $300 check and they send you a $1,000 check, that is your first red flag. Second red flag, you guys need to check and see who sent you the check. What's the name of the company that is on the envelope? from the mail that sent it to you well mine says design company fabrics and yet the check that I got is from sterling commercial roofing you know so I am not sure cause, now see this person did not ask for me to send them any money back or nothing so I'm not sure what their angle is I don't know if once I deposit this check if there is a way for them to suck the money out of my account or if this is like uh you know i want i'm thinking that maybe this may not be a check but maybe it may be something else in disguise or something i mean because there's no telling what all those little numbers mean down there you know you just don't know now with this particular envelope i did receive now this is the weirdest thing nobody's ever done this this person sent me 
directions check this out now you can clearly tell that this was just simply typed up on a computer and then printed out it's just regular computer paper it has no official seals or document or no kind of date or nothing it's just a normal piece of paper and it says dear sir ma'am we are verifying the authentic authentication of the package you just received once you get this check kindly get back to the payroll agent for monitoring and further instructions now that further instructions I'm almost pretty sure it's going to be oh well we sent you a check for too much money send us the difference you know right there's another red flag um, it says please call this number right here it's nine one four area code which is another red flag four eight one three six two one so guys if you want to text this number and call them a thieving sons of bitches or act like the police and say guess what we know you're fucking scamming you thieves that's that number I'll repeat it to you guys nine one four area code four eight one three six two four you are hat you have my permission to harass that person because it's probably not even a real fucking number all right and it says also to be ensured that the check is delivered to the right address failure to do so we will have to cancel the check payment cause this seems to us that the check is not delivered to you or has been misplaced this is necessary for the securing the envelope and the contents to ensure the correct recipient now what they just said right there that they were that they were going to cancel the check payment one of the checks that I got and that I actually deposited and left in um, came back as a stop payment so I'm thinking what they want you to do is they want you to cash it get the money you owe the bank the money and then you send them the money which I mean that's a pretty clever scheme or scam truthfully these guys should be taken outside and kicked in the balls um, let's see here the property that received the package this small letter was introduced with the check which states that once you receive the payment you are to text only to 949-481-3624 and the information below they want my full name the amount of the check the amount on the check you receive now you see I think that's funny why the you know so let's just be in a perfect world so you want me to send information to a person that is with your company but yet the person in your company has no fucking clue on how much money they sent me really okay I can go with that so then you have the check number and then they want my cell phone number and then it says send us the scanned copy of the deposit slip guys do not do that oh my freaking God why the hell would you give them a copy of your deposit slip now I don't know what bank you bank with but my old bank when I used to deposit something it would have my account number on it so guys please don't do that it says right there send us a scanned copy of the deposit slip once you made the deposit of the check to your bank and then on top of that they want me to send it to them now they want me to tell them one thing on the phone but then that little part of the information right here it says send us a copy of your deposit slip they want me to email that to them and then get this this is the name of the email for the girl rx pill girl so the bitches so the bitches email is roxy's pill girl at gmail.com are you fucking kidding me these people must think that I am a fucking idiot and you know what I hate to say it but people fall for this because if they didn't fall for it they wouldn't be sending this shit out but I mean that email alone rx pill girl at gmail.com really so that's that's the deal guys so yeah, I I just want you guys to be aware of it, man, because you know whoever gets hit with this may not have as much as knowledge as I do, and they may not see all these red flags like I do. 
So I just wanted to do a video, and I tell you what, out of all of the videos, I've done over a hundred YouTube videos for you guys. I've done a hundred of them so far, over a hundred. This is the most important video I could have ever made. If I was ever trying to get a message out to my viewers, please guys, listen to this video. Share this video. Let other people know about these checks and these scams. And I hope that you won't be a victim of it. You know? And this is bad. Obviously, these people are getting paid to do this shit, you know, because it's working. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to tell you my story about the checks and about you know some of the general information that I know of and what to look for and I hope this helps you guys and remember it's not worth it just because you're broke you go down to the bank and you owe the government the federal government insures all bank money so when you go and cash that check they have you endorse it right you have to sign the back of that check as soon as you endorse it, boom, you are now liable for that check. And it will overdraft your account, and then next thing you know, it, you're going to get a knock at the door. You're going to get letters in the mail. You're going to get phone calls. And if that bank, right, closes your account, you will not be able to open another bank account because other banks know that you fucked over this other bank with a bad check and if you owe a bank money you cannot become a member of another bank so it's not worth it trust me guys do yourself a favor rip the check up wipe your ass with it roll it up into a doobie and smoke it for all I care but please do not cash them thank you for your time be cool guys. Yeah.